How do you get promoted in school? You memorize answers and regurgitate them on a test. Every once in a while, you might have hands-on activities to show that you can solve problems, but that's still based on, well, what you've memorized. How do you typically get promoted at work? It's how many problems you can solve based on the answers and the programming and conditioning you experienced when you were in school. How do you live a high quality life? It is not by solving problems because your powerful mind, also known as your subconscious, which runs all of your habits and patterns and whether you have high quality or whether you feel like you're just surviving. Well, it will not tolerate a void. If you solve a problem, it says, okay, what's the next problem we can solve? That is much different than saying, I need to design this area. Now, when you start designing a life, you are going to be using different areas of your brain than what you do when you solve problems. People can say, oh, I know that. Yeah. Oh, and, and Dawn just said this. I know that too. I'm like, okay, do you have the results? Because if you don't have the results, you don't know it. You've memorized it. And then you regurgitate it on the test. Designing a life says you have to put a demand on your environment and what it is that you're experiencing in that environment to step up for your next evolution. Thriving, it is your time to thrive right now. We're moving into a season change and your subconscious is always on point at those thresholds to go, what am I gonna find moving into this next level, this next room, this next season? Oh, this next relationship, this next job. Oh, more problems to solve or Hmm. No, we're putting a demand. We're putting a demand on our focus to find all the people, places, and things that can support our next level of progress. We're putting a demand on our emotional optimization that, uh, you know what? Fear can show up. Problems can show up, but we demand that it actually takes us up to our next level of success because we're in designing and design demands. Uh, actions, we're putting a demand on our actions to where we're going to do it for ourselves so that we can give to others out of our overflow. I just finished with a client who had a aha as we were doing our strategic coaching that one of the reasons why she is not following through on some things for herself is because there are demands on her life and they are demands that other people have put on there. See, we'll step up to the demands, but is the level of engagement for yourself so that when others come into your world and put a demand, you have the overflow, you have the surplus, the surplus of energy. Maybe it's the surplus of finances. Maybe it is a surplus of physical health because she's getting ready to go on a vacation in a few weeks with some friends. And she needs to be in optimal health. But instead, she's been answering the demand of her job and doing for them that it has superseded her ability to do it for herself. That's known as relationship bargaining. Relationship bargaining says that we'll do for others, but at our expense. And sometimes they don't even realize it. Now, you're going to be saying, well, Dawn, the job is going to continue to demand certain things from me. Hey, I get that. But have you put the demand on your powerful mind to say, you know what? Find the ways for me to do it first. We have levels of engagement. You have at the very top level your engagement with your higher power, however you perceive that to be. And then below that, your engagement with yourself. 
And then from there, engagement with a significant other, and then family, and then friends, and then career. And energy flows down. So you're like, oh, my, my job is so demanding. So you're doing relationship bargaining. And because, again, the subconscious will not tolerate a void, it's going, okay, well, we have a relationship with ourself, and that that is not a healthy one. So instead of just skipping over that level, we'll have a relationship with ourselves that is dysfunctional. We, we won't have challenges. We won't have a design. Because there are people, places, and things in your environment right now that could support you in being healthy with yourself. But you don't see it because you're continuing to look at your present from memories of your past. And so you're going, ah, I, I don't know how I, I can do it. I don't see, I just don't see where the time is going to come from or the finances or the energy or the focus because you continue to look at the present from how you had to bargain with the past and come out a loser. So you want to be able to move in to thriving. Well, then you have to get your subconscious agreement. And the subconscious agreement says each one of those levels needs to be filled with first you being stable and, and stability comes from putting things in order. Uh, then you take action on that order, what's functional. And then after the, the subconscious experiences, things are, are functional, then it starts taking it up to the next level things are, are starting to progress. It's outstanding. And then you'll move into experiences where it's absolutely euphoric. Now, euphoria cannot be maintained. Then you come down and you're like, gosh darn it. Well, that couldn't continue to work for whatever reason. Oh, but I can use what I learned as a way to make the next level exceptional and outstanding. All right, you want to move into thriving? You can't move into it with the identity from your past with your relationship bargaining. You have to look at your levels of engagement. You have to look at what you're valuing. You have to look at who you want to be in order to experience the results that you're going after. That's the only reason why you set goals. It's not for the accumulation of stuff or experiences. It's the revelation of who you really are in order to get to that next level. And those are the beginning steps. If I can assist you, I highly recommend going to my website and clicking on the tab Time to Thrive. You will see a program that is open just for the next couple of weeks, uh, but a program that is designed to help you progress into the type of life that you want to consistently live because it is around designing a life, not solving problems, not regurgitating answers that you've memorized where you don't experience lasting results. It is the consistency of producing who you really are. And I'd be honored to assist you in that. But you've got at least the beginning steps from today. Okay. So until we get together again, remember, you are here to design based on the destiny that's calling you forward. Those problems are always going to be there, but they don't take your focus. Your focus is one of fulfillment by revealing who you really are.